Kansas City neighborhood is fighting to control its future. They say they do not want any more liquor stores moving into the area. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom is live near Bannister and Blue Ridge in the Hickman Mills area. And Cynthia, this is about power and control. It is about power and control. As you said, we're at Bannister and Blue Ridge Boulevard, and some neighbors around this area believe their power was snatched away and they want it back. They are concerned about the growing number of businesses selling liquor in this area, and right now they are powerless to stop more from coming in. Progress for Cerner triggered an unexpected problem for people living near the construction project. Several years ago, Kansas City leaders created an exemption area around the project so businesses that were part of the project didn't have to get neighborhood approval to get a liquor license. That created a loophole. And since then, some existing and some new businesses well beyond the Cerner campus applied for and received licenses to sell liquor. And neighbors couldn't say a word. I do see a lot of them. They use our street to go down the street. They walk up to the liquor store and come down the street, and then we find cans, glass, bottles, you name it. To reclaim their power, several neighborhood associations joined together and formed Hickman Mills United Neighborhoods. Now, the battle to take back their neighborhoods is at City Hall. I'm sure property values have been affected. I mean, and you know, psychologically, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't live in an area where you can get more access, more access to liquor than milk. City Councilwoman Alyssa Kennedy is on their side. Convenience stores selling packaged liquor, attracting uh, a negative element, and in some instances, attracting violent crime. And they wanted to minimize the proliferation of packaged liquor sales in their community. Now today, the city's Neighborhood and Public Safety Committee passed the measure of shrinking the exemption area, meaning neighbors would be able to weigh in in the future on any proposed liquor licenses. And that measure will now go to the full city council. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.